I would go with Bill Cosby. <gasps> oh my god, that was the worst one so far. Dude, that did age well. Today you're taking on our cringiest challenge. Oh. All these cringy clips will fall into the category of things that didn't age well. Oh, oh no. Shoot, that's gonna be hard. <laughs> I love the dictatorship of React. Oh, oh. oh look, it's Will. Will Smith. Say you out with your boyfriend, your girlfriend, you know, you're at school, you had a club or something, getting busy. Right. Let's go. Somebody steps up to you and they tell you they want to rumble. Wait, you said rumble. <laughs> All right, now, now just stop for a second. I have trust issues. What is he about to say? Toss your hands up. Just think. I'm thinking. The person that uses the head can always defeat the person that's just trying to use their hands. Is he talking about headbutting? No. <laughs> no. Definitely not at all. <laughs> this is actually him saying to be nonviolent. <laughs> I'll leave. <It's> <laughs> now remember that, because the more you know. <laughs> if someone punches you in the face, just think at them. Oh, I just got it, it too. Just I just got it too. Is there something that might have happened Did, like, um, the last mm. month or two? Should we show him this video of himself? I'm sure Jada? somebody has. I'll text it to Jada. It's just a little too late. Give us some credit, old man. We're panty professionals. Every time I wear this shirt, I feel like Patrick Starr. Now I feel really called out. Ew. We score here. I know this episode. I loved SpongeBob growing up. Love SpongeBob. <laughs> Panty raid. Really things. We hit the jackpot. Oh my god. Panty raids used to be like a thing in like every college movie. Did I just miss this like era of <laughs> media? I'm I love that this is supposed to be a try not to cringe and it's just a try not to get confused and she's lost twice. <laughs> You came through for me, boys. I feel young. <laughs> Eugene? Ouch. I mean, like, for real, though? Where the what are you are doing with my bloopers? <laughs> the episode has been removed from Paramount Plus. <laughs> yeah, okay. I am not surprised. I mean, there's always questionable stuff in, like, children's media, but that is really shoving it in your face. I used to go around, like, in elementary school going, I bet you're gonna miss the panty raid. <laughs> Tell us who your dream teacher is, tweet it, and then do the hashtag dream teacher. I would go with Bill Cosby. <gasps> <sighs> your reaction was so visceral. Tell us who your dream teacher is, tweet it, and then do the hashtag dream teacher. I would go with Bill Cosby. That's extra bad. Yeah, I don't, I don't even gotta hide that one. That one is just bad. I would go with Bill Cosby. I was like, what did he say? And then I heard it. Ah, uh, <laughs> sure he wishes he could take that one back. Yeah, Say like Meryl Streep. I bet that guy was going scrambling around trying to wipe the tape. Didn't he also get like a delegations as well? So I guess- uh, Did he really? Birds of a feather flock together. Takes one to know one. Yeah. He's like, yeah, that's my buddy. Yeah, <laughs> we were swapping strategies earlier actually. Ew. That was a multi-layered cringe. Ooh. <laughs> Hate that. that! That was a cringe. You got me to cringe! Man, f you. <laughs> Do any of you dream of a solo career? Do you think I could be Justin Timberlake? <laughs> I wouldn't, me personally, I no, wouldn't I do it. I don't think, I wouldn't do it. Ah, uh, <laughs> I've seen this before. Someone came to one of you and said, we want you to do a solo performance. That is such an uncomfortable thing to ask. She really trying to stir the pot. Your loyalty to each other is so much. Stop. Each of you would say no. Uh, first of all, why are you so close? Why See, are please. you playing footsies with Zane? I yes. mean, I, actually, I get it. 100%. Oh, yeah. yeah, no oh, way. You say no, it's it's five of us or none of us. Yeah, what does she want him to say? Yeah, we're going to break up. They're like, no, we never. They're like, oh, I signed a contract last week. Knowing this after Liam sh on all of them, Ooh. that definitely didn't age well. This is the opposite energy of we all sing. We really all sing. True. Well, let's storm the place without my prior knowledge. Coming through, freedom train, step aside, you two fatso, freedom! Cool your jowls, Nixon. You may not like it that Dr. Zoidberg desecrated a flag. You may even find the image of it festering in his bowels somehow offensive. But the right to freedom of expression is guaranteed by the Earth Constitution. Earth Constitution. Haru, maybe so. Haru! I know a place where the Constitution doesn't mean squat. <laughs> Just give me the point. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Mic drop. <laughs> this needs to be a, a try not to uncomfortably laugh. See, that did age well. They're literally trying to challenge everyone's free choices. Just repealing our rights one by one. The Supreme Court, you're very cringy right now. When they showed the Supreme Court, the back of my neck got hot. Yep. I wonder, yep. oh. Never mind. Mm -hmm. I'm not wondering anymore. Oh, I know what's coming up. Oh, I already know what's about to happen. I haven't seen any of the Home Alone movies either. No childhood. <laughs> Excuse me, where's the lobby? Down the hall and to the left. I watched this this Christmas for the first time in forever, and oh, this part geez. comes on, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, man. I also don't love mm. children actors. I thought she was going to say Shia LaBeouf, and I was like, that's not him. <laughs> Samantha had little belief in the- Oh, I know this clip. This she knows. This she knows. She had a very strong belief in the idea of a smart cocktail at the end of the workday. Ain't nothing wrong with a smart cocktail. Samantha, a cosmopolitan, mm. and Donald Trump. Mm. You just don't get more New York than that. Why is there more? Good, Donald. But think about it. Yeah. I'll be at my office at Trump Tower. This isn't cringeworthy. Yeah. This is just sort of evidence of being like, see? The fact that he can't even act in the slightest. It's always, listen, man, I gotta go. The Donald is here, live. Yep. Wrong. Oh yeah. Well, I'd cringe, I can keep cringing. It doesn't make me cringe, it makes me furious. What the f is going on? The fact that he's wearing the same toupee in all three clips is so oh funny. God. Funny enough, out of all of them, I feel like this one is the least surprising. Oh my God, that was the worst one so far. He went home and he was probably like, yeah, I did that. I ate. He wasn't running the free world. Because he was a like pop guy. cultural staple, unfortunately for us all. When you take it in context, yeah, whatever. He was just some rich but now, if I saw him on Monday oh, Night Raw next week, I'd surprised. be like, now this isn't cool. I bet he would do that tomorrow. Skateboarding is a crime. Not, not an, an Olympic, Olympic sport. sport. What in the, okay, you got me, dude. Well, we know how that turned out. It should be, I'm here for that. Yeah. We love Tony Hawk. Not the handcuffs. Exactly. Not this one isn't as like cringe as it is kind of just like funny. There are people skateboarding <laughs> here in my vicinity. In today's busy world, going to the video store is a hassle. Pause it. For the love of God, somebody teach that man how to fake play a piano. Oh, is this a Panic of the Disco music video? video oh. Is a hassle. With Netflix, you just make a list of the movies you want to see. Netflix, the OGs. Keep them as long as you want. Oh, man. You can still do that. Yo, the throwback net. I remember this Netflix. Yeah. We are the romance movie from Netflix. My lady! <laughs> Jail. All of them. Netflix. All the DVDs you want, starting at only $9.99 a month, no late fees. Netflix was like Redbox, but you don't go to the store to get your stuff. That's no cringe. That's a good commercial. If I still had a DVD player, I would still be doing that. Well, let's take a look at this comment on this YouTube video. Uh oh. Oh god. Their design is terrible. Blockbuster. Oh my, this is better. <laughs> Their design is terrible. Blockbuster's online is better. <laughs> I never even heard of the Blockbuster online. It died before I could even find out about it. <laughs> Remember Blockbuster? Yeah. No? Blockbuster. There used to be a movie store. And we used day. to live in a real country. I got my movies mailed to me. I would love an update from 259. Netflix was taken to Blockbuster to um, try to fund it, and they were like, nobody's gonna do that. And here we are. I really do understand how hard it's gotta be to leave your child with another person. Oh my God, it's the dude from Scooby-Doo. I mean, it's like leaving behind a piece of your heart. Sandy, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> Are you gay? Stop. Yes. It's okay. I Stop. I do. Mm -hmm. But I am straight. Sir, so you're just like a, a guy who's a nanny. <laughs> I actually low-key hate Ross. Oh no, everyone hates Ross now. Okay, I'm also gonna say something um, controversial. Friends is not funny. I do not like Friends. I realize how it's a bit unorthodox for some people, but I really believe the most satisfying thing you can do with your life is take care of a child. Where is this going? I love him, I love him, I love him. <laughs> oh, come on, he's a guy. So, like, he's smart, he's qualified. Give me one good reason we shouldn't try him out. Because it's weird. <laughs> Why? Well, what kind of job is that for a man? Yeah, what kind of job is that for a man? Oh, it's like if a woman wanted to be 
Uh-oh. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> and you backed yourself into... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Man, big strong. Men don't get to do anything. Like, mm, like poor men. You guys are so mean to men. And then they're like, a man can't do that job. I mean, I see what they're going for there, though. It seems like they're more trying to call out people that do that. Yeah, instead that's of the like, thing. Uh -huh. and Ross isn't really presented as being right. He's presented as, as kind of being, he's the joke. I can 100% say that there was plenty of Poor writing that aged like milk. I All love right. David Schwimmer so much. Yeah. I'm obsessed. I'm, I, I've been watching a lot of Friends lately, and his his reactions to things are just like iconic. It's crazy to look back at those cultural moments. It's like insane when you look at you know Bill Cosby and then you see what it is now, Trump, and then what it is now. You know, I can't believe we let Donald Trump in Home Alone. That's that <laughs> is just a crime against you. <laughs> There's even things that I see from like 2016, and I'm watching it, and I go, Ooh, how did they? How did they get away with saying that? If any of these, while we were watching them, we had nothing to say, and we were like, What's the problem? That would that be That would weird. be the cringiest thing that could happen. Yeah. Because SpongeBob wouldn't, SpongeBob and Patrick just wouldn't do that. They're really not horny. Like, they're not no. horny people. Like, <laughs> you know, like, like, like SpongeBob and Patrick know. are not horny. If you go on Reddit, you might find them. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what are you watching? <laughs>